Today I'm going to show you how to use SoundPlan. Now this is a, a great tool for kind of creating your own musical instrument using the Makey Makey. The first thing you'll notice when you open SoundPlan is that it looks just like a keyboard. And this is perfect because that's what the Makey Makey simulates is a keyboard. The first thing we need to do is load some sounds into SoundPlan. And the way to do that is just to drag and drop them onto the keys. So I've got a folder here with some sounds. Um, and let's see, I'm going to, I've got a hard punchy kick drum and I'm going to drag that over and assign that to the A key and then I've got a snare drum I'm going to assign to the S key and I've got a hi-hat that I'm going to assign to the W key. So once these sounds are loaded you see that the keys change colors and if I press the key um, it will play that sound. Now I'm just pressing the keys on my keyboard, but you can also do this with your Makey Makey. Um, and the Makey Makey simulates the, key the keys W, A, S, D, F. Okay. Uh, you also have the space bar. So if I drag a sound onto the space bar, that's a fun one. So now you can create your own musical instrument that plays these sounds. So. Some other options you have with playing sounds, if you press the spacebar over and over again, you see that it cues up a bunch of them. Now, if I only want it to play one slide whistle at a time, I can change the key mode to be kill or restart. So restart will start it over from the beginning each time the key is pressed. So. And kill will stop it from playing uh, after the key is pressed. So if I press twice, it will stop it. Now, if this view is a little more complex than what you want, you can always change to the simple view, and that's going to kind of get rid of some of these options for you. Now, one thing to note is that SoundPlant will only play the sounds by default when the SoundPlant window is in the foreground. If you want it to work while the window is in the background, you can turn on this background key input button. And now if I go to another view, uh, and start typing, it will play those sounds in the background as well. Which can be both annoying and fun. Some other things I want you to know about is that you can load in key maps and a key map is basically just saving all of your sounds that are mapped to your different uh, keys into a file so that you can reopen it later. If I really like this drum set that I've created, I can just click the save key map file and I'll be able to open up that later uh, when I reopen SoundPlant. So I'm going to give it a file name. Let's just say uh, whistle and drums. And now if I close SoundPlant, I can reopen it at some later time. And I can click the open key map and find my new my whistle and drums key map that I created. Click open. And now it will load all the sounds for me.